and welcome back to another video sky factory 4 and as you see i've automated the crafting the final recipe i really want to make out of all the saplings i've had here and you know they've been crafting up a lot and as you see the iron amber is empty but i just emptied that but all of these are like filled and i've even been taken out of some of them so what we're gonna do is go down here to the diamond one real quick because I want to check it out 58 diamonds and it's been going for maybe 10 15 minutes I mean that is insane just to think how fast that grew and I haven't even been like on here for five minutes not really five minutes I haven't really been on here for more like 15 20 minutes since I've automated this one now I have been on here for more than that for the other ones obviously as they have way more but right now that does not matter and what matters is that we finally got full sab diamond which isn't an achievement in this one which is really hard to believe why it's not but anyway and as you see over here we got this big brick like structure what this is is called a smeltery this is the same thing kind of as what we were using up there in the porcelain but it's just way bigger this over here can hold over about two and a half stacks of any amber and it has up to 16, 1600 capacity for ingots so what i have going here is just automatically pulling out the ingots into these gold casts which you make by putting gold in there and then having a brick so i use seared bricks because i have plenty of them and you just put the brick in there and then put the gold on top of it and it will automatically make you your cast. You will lose the brick, but you'll get the cast. And that's way so that we don't like clog up the system or anything because there's always going to be one ingot if you smell amber. In between episodes, we did lose what our weathered salesman. Put an RIP down in below, down the chat down below. But anyway, as you can see up here, the corners aren't needed, but I usually build out of them, but I just didn't have enough, so I didn't fill it in all the way. This fills up all the way and it's actually really cool because it's like interactive so it does it depending on how it is. But anyway, in between, well not in between, in this episode we are going to be getting simple storage. We're going to be getting into the simple storage mod. Basically all we need to do is craft these things but in order to craft these we need to start with a netherrack sapling. The way we get that is redstone sapling, diamond resin, gold resin, and netherrack. Now we need the netherrack. The way we get netherrack is actually from putting lava on top of redstone amber. So what we're going to do is get out our porcelain heater because we are. it's easier to use this one for small things when we're doing it. We're going to put that there and we're going to move this soon anyway. But all we really need to do is actually just put this down there, put that there because it will just pour straight out of there if I have enough in there, which I do now. And all we need to get is a redstone amber, which is easy to make. All we need is about nine redstone resin. Put them in a block form, and you get redstone amber. Put that here, hit the faucet, and it will turn into netherrack. Now you only need 250, which I did not know, but anyway, that's good. And whenever you break these tanks, any type of tank, it will retain the liquid, but the melter will not retain. So if you're going to break the melter, do not break it when something's in there. Yes, if you want to make sure you have it for when you're done. But anyway, now we got the netherrack. So we just need two diamond resin, a gold resin, and a redstone sapling. So here's our redstone sapling. And we just need oops, two gold. Oh, wait, maybe that was donut by accident. And we only need one gold. My bad. Yeah. Two. Oh, wait, do we not have any gold? No, we don't. Oh, shucks. We got to go over here to the. Uh, down here. And it's way easier to go down here if you need the resins or acorns. Because it basically backs up a little bit. But it's not too far because I have these filters on here. Which sets it to. Oh, well, not there. That sets like the infinite amount not the infinite amount, it sets the amount in the inventory to only be allowed to be 64. So what I'll do is just wait here for a second and I'll get the, oh wait, I already have the one resin that we need. We only need one resin. I am off my game right now. What the heck? 
But anyway, like like I said before, we will automate this netherrack sapling in between episodes. But for now, it don't really matter if we automate it or not, because we really don't need it for much. But we, the only reason we really need it is for the quartz that it drops. It has a low chance to drop quartz, but it's not really that low when you're growing them. So it's more like you get maybe two, three quartz per, some, per sometimes, but other times you only get like one or two, or one, or none. And here we got four. We are going to need four blocks of that. So let's grow four more. We'll grow all six saplings. And I don't, you don't really need the nether rack right now for anything important. So it's fine if you just let that go and keep it stored. But you need the 12 nether, or you need the 12 quartz if you're going to be doing what I am doing in this episode. And what I am doing is basically making it so that all of my storage anywhere on my map that I have actual storage, I can connect it up to one singular place. And with the remote that I'm also going to be crafting, I can access it from anywhere. No matter if I am halfway across the world or not but I do have to stay in this dimension I think I don't know if there's any way to control that to make it so that you can go multi-dimensional but I think it's only that you can use it in one dimension but anyway here you go we only got three blocks my math was off okay I guess I need to grow another tree here we go and the other things we are going to be making just need simple stone and stuff like that. So I will smelt up a little bit more stone because we're going to need to smelt up a little bit more stone. There we go. We'll smelt up 12 of them. Here we go. Five in there, five in there, two in there. Hopefully we get quartz out of that. And we only got one. Good for me. All right, so we need to grow one more. And I don't think they could have already finished smelting up. Did they? Uh, no, they didn't. Oh, okay, I know why. Because in this version, right, I'm used to playing the new version where you need to actually smelt a stone again. You only need to get stone and you can craft stone slabs. But we're going to need them later, so if you want to get them now, you can. If you don't, that's fine. And we got the amount of quartz for the block. And there we go. So, another X sapling is done. First thing we are going to build is a storage network master. We need storage cables, blocks of quartz, and a diamond. So the storage cables are pretty easy. They're the stone slabs, which I was just mentioning, and then two iron ingots. And I think we have, yep. And you might as well craft up a good amount of these. Yeah, you will craft up three sets, which you're going to get eight per set, so it's pretty nice. And as you get an advancement there, you get cat five. This advancement is working on the age of storage, so if you want to go check that out, you can. But the next thing we need to craft is the storage network. Um, What's it called? Storage network master. And all I need now is a diamond, and I don't think I have enough to make a diamond. Oh, no, I have the perfect amount to make a diamond. Perfect. Perfect. No, okay, I'm getting a little crazy here now. I am sorry. But anyway, block of quartz for storage cables, and we get the network master. Next thing we need is the storage request table. We need four gold ingots, four cables, and a crafting bench. Now there should be some gold down here in the smeltery chest as it is automated and besides for the, me putting the stuff in there but yes there is four down here there we go put four like this put this right there and put this around the edge nope back that up by one there we go we got that now and it says I want it now it sounds like uh, a crappy teenage girl no, I'm kidding I'm kidding sorry no I'm not I'm really not that sorry but anyway and now these storage cables I'm gonna need plenty of because I'm going to be connecting all of these up to it and I will have it down here because I will be able to access it via the remote so it won't really matter where it's at but it will be nice to have additional um, cables but there we go we got 16 of them and I ran out of cables, so we're gonna get some of these. Nope, we need to go in here. 
me craft up a couple more. There we go. We'll be able to craft two more sets. And they do craft four per, which is nice. And then here, for this one, we need four more gold ingots, another storage cable. So we're going to need more stone. We're going to get the gold out now while we're down here. We need four more stone. Or not four more stone. We need six more stone. My bad. We'll just craft half of them into slabs. Yeah. And then we'll only need really one more for right now. So I don't want to waste any. So there we go. Then we need storage export tables. Oh, we're going to need a little bit more. Sorry. We're going to need also. Ugh, we're also going to need to grab some redstone. We have nine. Oh, wait. We already have redstone blocks up here. We're just going to need some wood and some cobblestone. Craft that down. Go into here. Go to the export cables. Go to the piston. Auto craft that. Got that. There we go. Next thing we need is import cables. The import cables are just a hopper. So we just need this here with five iron hopper surrounded by storage cables. There we go. We got our export cables. Oh, wait. I guess we never got our import cables. My bad. But there we go. We got import cables. And the same thing as the linked cables, they also give you four per. And then the last thing, we don't need anything else actually. And we got the storage remote. So now, the way to set this up is like this. What you do is you find out where you want to place it. And I'll place mine down here because this is where I'm going to be working. Or, well, this is where all my automation stuff is going to be going down here. You put the net master underneath the request table. Take your storage remote and right click it on the master. Now, when you open it, it will automatically be entered into here. And right now, you can't add anything, right? But what you can do is either put other inventories and connect it up to it, or what you can do is use these cables and connect them to chest or something. So it's the same thing, but you can either connect them to like something like this, where it's all like already has certain blocks in it, or you can connect it to chest so we can put any blocks in it. What I'm going to do is actually create something else. We're going to be making a compact, actually no, hold on, chest. We need a chest builder. Oop. A chest builder, which is very easy as you can tell. All we need is some more cobblestone, which I never thought I'd be saying that. But anyway, we go up here. There we go. We got plenty of cobble there. Need some sticks. And then we need to put the cobblestone below it. Two levers levers however you want to say it up to you we get the chest builder now i'm going to put the chest builder down here as well because we really don't really need it up here and this chest builder is actually pretty cool so as you can see we can apply the columns and rows make them different sizes we can make backpacks or we can make chests now depending on what one you're making it is going to use different resources plastic iron oak and leather and as you can tell we don't have plastic yet and we probably won't get plastic for a little bit so that's fine but we're going to be making the big chest now 24 by 12 that is a lot so what we're going to need is 18 chest 64 iron 64 fences and four clay well that's pretty easy just come right over to here get out oh actually what we're going to do is uh what we're going to do is just get them out manually right now there we go 64 clay we aren't going to really need all that clay but it is nice to have out for now as we're going to need plenty of clay for later and really not later anyway but yeah you understand what i'm talking about no you really don't but it don't really matter because on this channel, we don't care about who's right. All we care is that we get there in the end. What we're going to do is use these two, three, four stacks of wood. And it don't really matter what type of wood that you're using, but we're going to be making up plenty of chest. 
we're going to be making up two stacks of chests, actually. You don't really need two stacks, but I'm going to make two stacks. Why? Because eventually you will need it. Sometime, somewhere, somehow. Okay, so we go back down here. And the most expensive part of this entire process is probably the iron ingot, since everything else by this point should be automated. And it's not even that hard to get. And now we just need the 64 fences, which is just going to be a bunch of wood we're going to use. And we need oak wood, actually, too, so we can make oak fences. But we're going to use these woods for sticks. Because why not? Because we're not going to ever use them. And we got plenty of backup. Okay, there we go. Plenty of soap. We need oak wood. We're going to auto craft all that. There we go. Make plenty of fences. We made over a stack. We'll make about a couple more. Just as many as we can. There we go. And that is plenty. And as you can see, this took me about like four minutes to get all the resources. But what we're going to do is we're going to make this. What color should we make it? I'm going to make it a nice red. So 10 hue. We're going to click build. Oh, we don't have enough iron in there. Duh. Okay, if you don't have something in there, it won't work. But when you make it, it will make a compact chest and the color that you selected up here. I like a big box and I cannot lie. I mean, not wrong. And now, with these storage link cables, you're only able to connect one side of storage per cable. But you can connect, like if I would do that and I put another chest up here, that would work just fine. Which I am going to do, because why not? We need two more iron in there. There we go. Need two more iron, a couple more fences, and there we go. We got another chest. And now, what I will do is show you how this works. So you can go in here, you can just do this, and it will automatically put everything in these chests. Now this is 288 slots. If you do that times 64, you're going to get multiple tons of storage. And now what I will do in between episodes is go underneath here and connect this with all of these cabinets and connect those cabinets up there somehow down here because then we'll have all of our storage automated and all of our storage in one place. What I'm going to do here next is get all these, clear all these, all this stuff out ugh, and then go into my remote and you can do the same thing from your remote. You just put them all in there. And the way I'm doing it is by shift and then with my left click, if I hold and drag, it will automatically put the stuff in and out of my inventory, which I need because that's what I'm doing right now. And it's way faster than shift or just regularly clicking in. And as you see, if you put something in there that you don't want, all you gotta do is search it up. Oops, spelled wrong. And you can pull it right back out. Pause. But anyway, get the acorns out here. And we're gonna get everything out of here that I don't need. And just like that, we have storage that we can access from anywhere on the base and pull in or put in we can pull out or put in anything that we want again pause crap and if it makes it easier well not easier and the only bad thing about this is if you were to be in here and you drop it you get closed down the menu but then you got to open your inventory again and exit and then it will drop it so just be careful because you don't want to be like over the edge or something and do that and then drop it I mean, it don't take much to get back, but it is a little bit of pain in the butt. And as you can see, we're kind of low on oak wood, but I'll show you one thing in one millisecond, in one second here. We are not low on oak wood at all. We go over here to the dirt. We got 3.8 oak wood. Why is that like that? Sorry, my OCD was killing me. It's killing me now. We put logs, sticks, resin, acorns. There we go. And then we got 5k here, 5k here, 5k there. Right? And we get more. We got probably about 100k ish oak wood between all of these. And now some of them, like the donut, or not that one, 
the donut, the mineral, bacon, and the apple trees aren't automated because I don't got to craft anything with the drops and I can't craft anything. Now with the mineral, you can build mineral blocks, but they you can't do that in the packager. Uh, here we can look it up better. Mineral, mineral, however you really want to say it. Blocks of crystallized mineral. You drop, you get these chunks in which you craft into a block and you can use it for a couple of things like these variable storage you can use them for batteries or logic programmer whatever that means don't really know what that is logic programmer does anybody know what that means comment down below if you do but if not the next thing we are going to do is look at this controller now I never really used the controller but I am trying to get all of the items or all the advancements done so we need is obsidian a processing cable Oops. we need obsidian processing cable and lapis blocks now none of that stuff is too hard all we got to do is get out our um, regular bucket wherever our, there we go we need to go in here search up uh, right there's our bucket actually and what you can do is actually sort direction so ascending or descending sort by name mod amount and I like searching by amount and then oh wait there we go I like searching by amount and then searching from top to bottom and I don't understand why that is in there like that there we go now it's in there by amount anyway I think it's in there by amount right yeah okay that's in there by amount so that's what I like to do I like start sorting by amount and I like sorting down so the next thing we need to do is get out this water put the lava in there put the water in there get the speed and nothing melts it okay good so next thing we need is these processing cables which are pretty easy gold nuggets storage cables and observer so we need let's go in here get rid of this craft that we already have enough for the observer we can make gold nuggets put that back in there put that in there put that in there and we can craft this we get our four processing cables next thing we need is lapis blocks and we don't have any lapis blocks we have one lapis block but the way we get them is just going down here because we already automated everything so we just got to go to the one where we find lapis blocks right here and now like I said between episodes I will be connecting this to my storage so I don't got to go down here and sort search for one every time I need it but as you can see now we have the controller control yourself my might I have no clue what that means now this manages in, this manages all your proce processing cables I don't know if you really need that for the storage I do I just do this and then connect all of them but I mean hey why not have it you know we'll just break it and put it into here anyway and even all my inventory that took up about four five of those cabinets up there only doesn't even take up it takes up a little bit over half only half of one of these compact chests these compact chests are huge but anyway I think that is all we can do in today's episode now next episode we will be actually yeah in between episodes I am going to be building a mob grinder just a normal one and I will start and out in the next episode we will get into this little part here we will craft an unbreakable tinker construct weapon a tinker's tool or weapon and modify it and then well we're not gonna be breaking all of this but we're gonna be working on this part of the um, section but anyway as I say always remember to like and subscribe and today there won't be any question just comment down below anything you feel like a question for me a question about the series a personal question I don't care I'll probably answer any question that I feel isn't too personal but anyway thank you guys and peace